I have not made one of these makeup videos in quite some time, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going through some of my makeup acquisitions that came during COVID time that haven't even been opened yet, and I want to try this one. It is Too Faced Christmas in the City Limited Edition Makeup Collection. It smells, one of the eyeshadow palettes smells like strawberries and champagne. The other one smells like pina colada. Then the blush smells like limoncello. And I seem to be going through blush faster now. Now, I've been getting some free blush with my Tarte orders, but I'm looking forward to trying this. I've also been using more bronzer recently, even though I went a long time without using it. And I've liked how it comes out. This doesn't have bronzer. But it's got some more orangey. But I, I usually go for the pink blush. And actually, I'm realizing now some of the blush I have from ColourPop that I haven't used from like the Sailor Moon collection, I think. And some of their lip things I haven't tried yet. So I guess there's options. And this is, you know, when you're at home, this is the time to use the non-long wearing lip stuff to try different things. So strawberries in Japan, pina colada, limoncello. Well, I guess we'll start with a blush, limoncello. It also comes with the mascara sample. <clears throat> in case anybody's interested, this is how it is in the box. Oh, plastic stuff coming in. So I actually don't smell it. There's Jingle, Bellini, Cute on a Scooter, No Place Like Rome, and Christmas Cannoli. I'm thinking the Christmas cannoli could be like the bronzer. It's different than the picture where that just looks orange. I'm not smelling any limoncello. So let me start with the Christmas cannoli. I mean, I see it going to the brush. You can see it right there too. I'm not really seeing it going onto my face. I'm not smelling it. So let's get, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with the orange and even the no place like Rome, but the Kiran scooter is the pink that is my kind of color. Oh, <laughs> stamping it on certainly does something. That's a lot brighter than the other one. I also want to reset my timer. A few minutes till general conference comes back on, and I want to be ready for that. So, okay, the cuter and the scooter totally works. That is very blushy. I don't know what's up with the Christmas cannoli. Maybe that could be like an eye shadow face kind of color. But I'm still. I'm not smelling any limoncello, and I may have just gotten pink on my nose. So I want, well, let's just smell these both to see. If... Christmas and Paris, I think, is the strawberries and champagne one. I have this, I, see, I smell faint, smell now. The chocolate one smells <clears throat> even like years later, so I don't think it's the length of time. It's only been not even a year since I got these. Since pina colada. Yeah, I'm not smelling it. So I certainly like the metallic ones. Which are mainly these. And then here's a kind of shimmery. And then for this, I like this pink sparkly one. That one, kind of that one. Kind of that one. I feel like those are more in the neutral realm in pink. And it's kind of a big palette. It's like when I'm thinking of do I want to travel with this? I like the ones that are close together for that. Like there's an Arvino one I haven't tried yet. It's tough though, although those are summer colors. I might want to bring that. So let's just, you know, I, w I wanted to try the Nicolata one. So let's go with that. I mean, these super light colors. What does one even do with that? I kind of am debating on do I want like a 
maybe I'll just do this as a base. So I'm, I'm between these two light pink ones. They're lighter in person. So let's start with the Christmas FOMO. That could be like a highlight if I need to. That hair sticking to me. Then I'm going to go in with a Christmas lolly on the darker pink. Whoa, that's, yep, that's a lot more. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's shiny, kind of satiny. So you'd think it wouldn't be so pigmented, but it is. Which brush am I using? Oh, this is that one from, uh, I think, Lime Crime. I don't know how they got, I think there's more organization needed. Okay. Then I want to try this touch your, oh. It's kind of this pinky, slightly bronzy, shimmery. Ooh. Definitely having some fallout. And it's definitely more bronze. It kind of reminds me of that lip stuff, the like ritzy, whatever it was, shimmery. I, I've got to relocate some of my makeup that I want to play with. So the No Away is very gold. Let's see how it... Some of these maybe need to be put on the finger. I'm going to try this in the middle of the eyelid, kind of extending out. So we've got the gold with the pink. That's okay. And then I want this Yule by the Pool blue, maybe in the inner corner, kind of. I haven't done these videos in a while, and I haven't done this much, like, new color playing and placement. I do kind of like that, though. It's working, it's working. And then I want to try that underneath the eye as well. Yeah, that's so fun. Do I want to make kind of a wingy eyeliner on the top as well? I think I do. So I don't follow. Sometimes these look better in pictures than in real life. I haven't done anything with my eyebrows yet. Hmm. All right, so we've got pink, gold, blue. Oh, here's here's for the ho ho ho. I'm slightly modifying the name. I want to see. Mm, this is my cover with the pink. Yeah, this is bronzy and goldy, and I don't know that it belongs on that brow bone, but it's very pigmented. Kind of reminds me of the chocolate palette. Some of them. Mm, so many palettes do fine with neutral golds coppers that kind of thing but i like the color i mean this is okay i'm not really going anywhere special <clears throat> gotta figure out what i might do for the potluck thing tomorrow all right stay focused i want to do some kind of eyeliner so the santa monica i mean i don't think i want this brown but the santa monica is i think black enough so I'm going to put some of this watery. I could just go right in with it, but do I have like a palette type thing? I'll just use my hand. Actually, if I go like this, I have like a divot right on my knuckle. Make that work. I like to go at the edge in case I don't want to mess up the pan with the liquid. This is like a shimmery enough one. Then I've got this situation in my hand. 
And then I'm like, do I need to go back in after? Hmm. This is hard to know how high to make your wing. Scott, a few minutes of general conference starts. We know we'll have music and a bit of time. This is kind of mm, I don't know what the word is, but I don't know why I want to say chalky. I don't know if that's the right word or not. I don't know if these kind of shimmery clothes are even meant for this kind of thing. Oh, I think I got some money. I mean, I guess that's good for smudginess, if you want that. And that is a big wing. This is almost like, oh, what's her name? That singer. But now I kind of want to go in with something like this or this, and maybe this, and really put on the blue more thickly. I can't tell if it loses some of its shimmer by doing it. It's a nice color. You will by the pool. This is the Los Angeles collection. It, it reminds me of like a muted version of the color pop Barbie one. And I'm wondering why, what is in my eye that's like stinging? And I think this helps smudge out the, the eyeliner a bit. And then I want to go in with a fluffy brush and perhaps go back. What was it? Christmas FOMO that was a light one? Yeah, I want to lighten this back up. Got a lot going on. I mean, that's not like my favorite, but it's more interesting than when we started. I feel like enough color just got into the eyebrows that I don't need a whole lot more. And mm, I feel like I want to put dots of the gold in the middle just to give something fun. And now I've kind of lost track of the pink. So maybe this Touch Your Elf, I'll go back over everything up here. Okay. Then, yes, we can try this new mascara. But, you know, I have not been curling my eyelashes anymore, and they don't seem to need it. Now, this is the one that lots of people talk about. Let's see how it goes. I might end up taking this on my trip because it's a good travel size. It's a good to play with. These don't last forever. My other one is on the newer side. What I don't understand is they often say get rid of them after six months, but I don't know if that's like everyday use or that the preservatives can't handle the contamination anymore because a lot of the people, a lot of the makeup artists seem to keep just a collection mm. and ones that presumably they've had a while and then they just go back to after they've been sitting for who knows how long. So hopefully that is safe. I think if it wasn't, they wouldn't promote that and we would hear about it, hopefully. Yeah, this blue definitely became more muted. I'm finding like, oh, this makes me love my Natasha Denona palette. It really kind of holds the color as it is intended to be. And I want to play more with my, um, oh, what's her name? Pat McGrath. I have a few of her colors. I have a palette. I'm not sure where it went. I think I have to just go through my stuff and reorganize and look. I 
And then what do I want to do with my lips? Like, I have some of these matte things that I haven't really played with much yet. I have this, the ColourPop stuff I haven't played with yet. And I can't take everything with me, but I don't know if some of those matte type things, if it makes sense to put gloss over them. So I like this mascara. I don't know that I'd pay, you know, I like it's a sample. I might get it on sale. I'm not sure that I'd pay full price for it. I don't think it's changing my life. And, I, and I'm someone where it just naturally gets in the bottom without trying. So I don't really make effort to put down the bottom. I mean, this, mm, I, I often like more shimmer on the cheeks. Oh, so I did put a ton of shimmer underneath the foundation. Like my ColourPop uh, Super Shock, what's it called? Um, highlighter that just came with something. I didn't really, it's not the way I would normally use uh, highlighter. I kind of want to go find the, the Too Faced one while I'm getting into some eyebrow stuff. And, um, oh, I do like, oh, I feel like a doll with the eye, the mascara. And it's it's lifted them without me curling or anything. And I think, like, genetically, I have long eyelashes. That's a benefit. Those are the moments where I'm like, mm, it'd be kind of nice to pass on the jeans. But I don't know how how you can, like, have a say of, I only would want this kind of... I would want my jeans to be raised in this kind of family or something. So it is fun that my hair matches the dress. I gotta go find some lip stuff and eyebrow stuff. Well, I just can't find the things I want right now. And general conference is starting and I want to maybe get back to that. I wonder if they start to look cool. So what, I wanted the darker eyebrow stuff, but this is the one I have, the CoverGirl, uh, Soft Blonde. It might not even do that much, but it at least shape things and put them in place. And it does give a little bit of color, but it's actually lighter than my eyebrow right now. The darker one matches more of it. Eh, it's okay. Kind of almost looks foundation to me. Almost done. And then I think I've got the Rich Dazzling Gloss Sunset Crush. I, I wanted to try the highlighter. I mean, retry. I don't know where it is. I don't know. You know, I might put other stuff under. Like other lippy stuff under. But for now, this is a good option. I did a little bit of setting spray. I think it's cute for summer. I mean, I like to have other color underneath, but frankly, a lot of the colors I end up with, even if I start with like a bright pink and then I add some of my lighter options to it, it ends up pretty close to my natural color anyway. So I feel like it's fun for summer. I think I used the more dewy foundation, so it's gl more glowy, even without a highlighter. Plus I have a highlighter underneath. Uh, I might try to find the highlighter. Maybe I'll just pause this for now and we'll see what happens, but mm, it's okay. I mean, the blue, I, I like shimmer. The blue's okay. The gold's okay. The pink's okay. I'm not into the neutrals as much. The blush works nicely. It's fun to play with Too Faced. I did not smell any of them smelling yummy the way the chocolate smells so good, but mm, I feel like this eyeliner is more pronounced now. And I think I actually like it more, so I kind of want to go back in. But it's tough to do. Maybe I'll try to do it with a brush not re-wetting it, but now it's crumbling. Because it's like I don't want to have to re-smudge all over again. That gives something. And, you know, you can feel that the shadow is damp. It's just not as wet as it was. Mm, it's okay. Time for general conference. So, have a great day for now. Peace be with you. May you have fun with your makeup and glittery, shimmery glasses and whatnot. And enjoy makeup sales as they come your way. And have fun with art on your face.